Hey guys, Wena here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys five clever organizational hacks and storage ideas. And if this is your first time here, welcome. This is the channel for renters, for all things, hacks, ideas, tips to fix any ugly apartment. All right, so straight into the video, I wanna show you guys the first thing that I did when I needed to upgrade my storage and my organization situation in this place. Sometimes you don't need more space, you just need better systems and better organizational pieces. So the strategies that I use when decorating or organizing in a small space is I use vertical space, wall space and under furniture those are my favorite places to hide lots of things and so if you're not using one of those areas in your place right now then that is where your extra space lives so i'm going to show you guys around and show you how i am using it in my space so hopefully it gives you some ideas and you can do the same so the first tip you should do is smash the like button because it really helps me out and if you like content like this then i'll continue to make it all right to the video. So I know that when you live in a small apartment or a small home, you don't have a lot of cabinets in the kitchen. At least that is the case for me. I have a total of, I think, seven full cabinets because they gave me those little small cabinets on each side of the stove um, at the top and the bottom. So you can just put those together and make one real, real cabinet. So when you're faced with lack of storage space in your cabinetry you have to look at how deep is it do you have enough shelves in the cabinets and if you do not then that is a perfect opportunity to add more shelves inside of your cabinet so the way i did it is i hit my favorite store up ikea and they have these shelves i'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it okay yes i am but if i get it wrong oh well very air very 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 <laughs> but these shelves here allow you to use the vertical space in cabinets that pretty much have a lot of height but they absolutely just forgot to put in shelves so once i went to ikea and i purchased a total of four shelves i got two really big ones that pretty much take up the entire space of the cabinet and then i have another one that's pretty big and then another one that's thinner and it gave me so much space. I am able to store food I, on one shelf. I can store like storing dishes or serving dishes on another. It just maximized my space tremendously. And I'll have the link to that product in the description box below as well. The next small space organizational idea is to use bookshelves and add doors to them. I did this in my dining room and when I tell you it amplified the amount of storage, I am able to keep extra dishes in there. Sometimes I had cookies in there, don't tell my son. And I also like to have all of my candles and wallflowers and Lord knows I have a lot, but those things go there, my stationery. And I also like to house my board games inside of that bookshelf as well. But it's just a lot of little things that if I need to get to them, I can, and they're not buried underneath a bed. So I really, really like using a bookshelf for that purpose. And the bookshelf that I'm using is from Ikea. I've used it plenty of times in lots of designs. It is one of the most popular bookcases uh, out there and you can just do a lot with it. So if you're not using a simple bookcase to create more storage, uh, more display space, then consider investing in one. Now, before we go to the next tip, if you're interested in learning how to make your small apartment look bigger, then check the description box below because I will have a link to a free checklist as well as a secret video telling you guys all the little tricks that I did to make my very small apartment feel huge. This guy will walk you through all the ways that you can make your space look bigger without even spending a dollar in some instances. So with that out of the way, let's get into more tips on how to organize your small space. Now, another clever way to organize your small space is to use the things that you have as display. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have a lot of hats, then instead of putting them in a box 
or worried about finding space for them on the closet, you could hang them up on the wall. Or if you had a lot of purses, you could get some command strips or some 3M hooks and you could hang those up in a nice neat way. Using the things that you have to kind of create a design or display, it just really shows what you're interested in and then you're able to admire the things that you absolutely like all the time. And another good example is shoes. So if you are a shoe lover and you just live and breathe shoes, there's no way that your shoes should be in the closet on the floor, no. You need to put those things out on display so that you can walk past them and admire them all of the time. Which takes me to my next point. If you guys have a small space and you are not using IKEA pack systems, you are missing out. And I don't care if you rent or have a home, these wardrobe closets make the biggest difference. When I first moved here, I reorganized my closet so many times. I even have a video on it and I'm gonna try to find it and put it here or here. But it was like one of the first videos that I did here. It was a closet makeover and I thought it was just the cutest thing. I didn't wanna spend any money and that closet did not serve me well at all. I couldn't find anything. Everything kept getting back unorganized. But once I found my IKEA pack system and actually started to use vertical space, I was able to do so many things like I was able to display my handbags, I was able to hang all of my tops up, hang my pants up, display my shoes. I have a drawer for my jewelry as well as my accessories like my belt. And I can add more drawers if I want to. Not to mention, I absolutely love the fact that I'm able to store my winter clothes at the top. So if you guys have the extra funds, the first thing I would say to invest in would be uh, Pax wardrobe system for your clothes because you get so much storage out of them and I mentioned if you're a renter it's still a good idea to invest in one because these things can come with you and all you need to have is a room that has an eight foot ceiling and that's pretty standard so it's going to fit wherever you go and you'll be able to maximize even more than you would if you didn't have it and the T on my IKEA pack systems is that I didn't pay full price for any of the cabinets. I went to the as is section and I think I spent uh, the most for the pack system that has the drawers, but for the pack systems that is um, holding my clothes that I hang up, those were $20 each. And I have a video for that as well. And I'm gonna link it either here or here or in the description bar down below but yes I did not spend a lot of money on my pack systems because I was patient upon I found it at Ikea guys that I got it out of the as is section and I went to Ikea often so if you're balling on a budget you know um, that's an option because you can definitely get a deal and sometimes the Ikea pack systems come with the accessories inside and they sell everything to you at a very low price so yeah, hit that IKEA as is section up and see what you can find. The next tip on how to organize your small space is to get things off of the ground. And I implemented this tip in my laundry room. Before I did my little laundry room makeover, which is another video and I'll link it somewhere, I had all of my brooms, my mops, everything was on the floor and it was never organized. I didn't even like going in the laundry room because it was just stuff everywhere, all on the floor. So I decided to hang everything up. I hang my vacuum cleaner up. I used a old coat hook rack to hang up my ironing board. And then I also went to the Dollar Tree and then I also purchased a long wire hook rack and I spray painted that gold, which you don't have to. And I hung that up and I'm able to put my brooms, my mops, my Swiffer, everything goes there. But if you want to know exactly how I achieve the look of my laundry room, then like I said, I will link that video as well. But by simply adding things to the wall instead of keeping them on the floor, you're going to create so much more space and everything's going to have a home and you're basically going to be creating a sense of design literally by using things that you need 
to have anyway. So that is a tip, get things off the floor, hang them on the wall. So at this point, you have learned five things on how to organize your small space. And if you guys know of any other ideas, definitely do me a favor, leave them in the comment section down below and definitely do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. So if you are in an apartment that you want to revamp or if you're just moving into one and you want step-by-step -step help, then consider joining Lux Rental Academy because I teach you guys everything that I do from the processes that I use for myself as well as the clients that I work with. And so you can take any project in your mind and bring it to reality. All you need to know is the steps to get there. So consider joining Lux Rental Academy. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, be you, be beautiful, be chic on a budget. And I will see you guys on the next upload. Bye, guys.